Mike and I are moving our stuff to Florida. You're gonna be hungry. You're gonna have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you gotta hold it. Looks like everything survived the night. Where are we? Oh my gosh, look at your big eyes. Aww. <laughs> but I do think I have some sort of bronchitis. right now for a while but probably goodbye for the kitties for a long time because I don't think we're going to be bringing them back and forth when we come here to visit Ryan is giving Alice a goodbye tour it was your room for a little bit. It was my room for a little bit. You used to come down and chill with me here. Remember that, Alice? This is the downstairs bathroom. The groovy in here. I didn't know you, you probably didn't spend much time in here, but <laughs> the laundry room's over here. Your litter and food used to be in here, so we used to have to leave these doors open and that door open for you. Do you remember that when you were a little girl, Alice? Now here it is. I don't, I don't even think you come in here anymore. Mm -mm. But there's that. Here's the outside. You used to, me and Brennan would be playing Madden on the couch and you used to meow. You come in the door right there, do you remember that? Here's the outside. Yeah, it's your favorite spot. You have to sit by that for a while. Is the foosball table? I don't even know if you recognize it. Oh, the beanbag. You, this used to be in my room. You used to sit on this all day. Actually, Edward. Edward, the Edward's favorite is the beanbag. Edward, that's your favorite. Hi, buddy. Hey right, guys, if you haven't been watching, we are hey, that's the heading down to Florida now. We're moving the kitties down, we're going down, and um, we're gonna be there for a once, while. Once we move the cats down, you know it's serious. It's official, right? Yes. We've decided to switch houses. We've decided that this is now gonna be our vacation house and the house in Florida is gonna be our house house. So um, we're gonna go back and forth, but we'll be down there more than we are here. So we're bringing the kitties down and uh, making the move. So down there, also they're not allowed to be outside, which is gonna be a big adjustment for them. So they're gonna be inside cats, cats now. Outside. Yes, they are outside cats. Oh my gosh. This is one of my last I'm hoping for a uh, good luck Charlie type. We're not selling the house kind of thing. Yeah, we're, uh, we're not selling the house. Yes, that, I do. Sad. They were very sad to move and they're like, yeah. we're not selling the house. And then Gabe uh, pranks Miss Dabney. Nice. Gabe, Gabe pranks Miss Dabney and he's like, no, we got to move. We got to go now. And he goes, we're not selling the house. We're not selling the house. And he goes, no, we got to sell the house. And you hear her like scream in the background. <laughs> yes, I remember that. But we're not selling the house. We'll be back. You guys won't be back, but Ryan and I will be back, and Dad and Katie and Brandon. You guys might come back if we come back, like, for the summer or something. You would come back with us. But in the meantime, we're going to push you guys in your little carriers and take you away. Oh. I know. Okay, listen. You guys have to sit through a long car ride. I've sat through so many of these, okay? It's persistence. Persistence is key, you hear me? <laughs> You're going to be hungry. You're going to have to go to the bathroom. You gotta hold it. Just hold it. <laughs> Once you get there, though, it's the most rewarding thing ever. So you just gotta stay with it, all right? No squirming like that either. <laughs> hey, bugs. All right, we gotta go. All right. All right, we got two cats shipping for Donnelly. <laughs> they do not like the sound of the vacuum cleaner. All right, you guys, we are all packed up. We've got our luggage rack back here. We've got our plants and everything in there. We have Ryan in there. He's not coming with us. We're just dropping him up the street. Yeah. But we are packed. There's Edward and Alice, hi, sweet girl, <laughs> and dad, and a roof rack. This is how you move when you have, move everything except for furniture. This is what it looks like. Ready, Mike? Let's go. Let's do it. Family check. Two. Five. Nice. 
We're missing two of them. Ryan's staying here through 4th of July. Then he's going to come down and be with us. He's going to be with his friends up here. And then he'll come down and join us. Yep. So have a great time. Goodbye. Thank you. I love you. You too. Have, have a safe drive down. Thank you. Make sure you. the kitties get their safe. I will. We'll um, stay in touch with you. Stay in touch with us. Yeah. This is so funny. I love seeing... Like, there's the maximum capacity for a car. Like, I'm pretty sure of it. On the back, a roof bag, the, all the seats <laughs> down. Coming. Who is? The tractor coming. Oh, tractor coming. We got to go. But, okay. I love you. you. I'll see you. Mm -hmm. the, okay. The okay, I'll talk to you before then. All righty. Okay, bye. All right. Bye. All right, well, this is a little surreal. Mike and I are moving our stuff to Florida. It's another day in which we sell jelly. It is, Mike. I got to tell you, it's exciting. It's, uh... It's something different and new. Moving and on up. <laughs> to the right. side. To a deluxe apartment in, in the, the sky. sky. Where we moving on up. To the side. We finally got a piece of the pie. Great show that was. We have been traveling now for what, three hours, Mikey? Kitties have been doing great. They've been back they've in their crates and a little bit of meowing. But this little guy wanted to get out. So look at him. He's just laying right here. Which is very odd for a kitty to like traveling. But look at him. He's being such a good boy. I know. Uh, we're very careful. We do not want him to go down there where Mike is driving. But he won't. He's just, whoa. He's just hanging out right here next to me. What a good boy. Yes, he is. Snuggled up. I might have to take him everywhere now. <laughs> I said to Mike I should have a little baby Bjorn. You know, his little things I can just put on me, you know, on my chest. And um, he could just snuggle up right there. Yes. That's what he likes, sweet boy. Hi, buddy. Can you see? Oh, my goodness. Look. That's Edward sitting on top of Alice's crate. We have stopped for gas. We are about an hour and a half away from our first destination. And he's been such a good boy. He's been sleeping here and he's been sleeping on top of Alice's crate. Oh my gosh. I am I was really um, anxious about what this trip was gonna be like with the kitties. Not really anxious, I was excited about it because I love just being with them, but I didn't know how they would fare. But Alice has been sleeping the whole time and Edward has been snuggling up with me. It's very nice. So we are about an hour and a half away. Katie went to her friend's house. Um, so we're gonna pick her up on the way, which is awesome. Um, so we'll see her tomorrow, like just before lunchtime, we'll get her. So we're getting gas and uh, gonna finish up in about an hour and a half. We spent the night at a hotel halfway down and it is the next morning we are getting ready to go. Here comes our car. Looks like everything survived the night. And this is our kitties. Get ready to go. We have hit a little bit of traffic north of Jacksonville. Our drive from this morning from the hotel to now to or to get Katie was supposed to be about a little under four hours. Now it's gonna be a little over four hours. So we're how far are we away from seeing her? We're not excelling, Jill. We're not excelling we're right now. De decelerating, and not we're accelerating. Which to decelerate. Okay. Well, it seems as though there's, we're picking up on holiday traffic. I think that's part of it. Fourth of July traffic, we're getting closer and closer uh, to the Fourth of July. So the traffic 28 is. 28 minutes. 28 minutes till we get Katie. Yeah. All right. In the meantime, I know there'll be some of you out there that might judge that we have our kitties outside of their crates, but they are thriving and loving much more being outside they have of their kitty crates. On. They do have little kitty seatbelts on. <laughs> or not. But look at how cute they are. Imagine that. I know, a little kitty seatbelt. A, a little kitty seatbelt. Oh, cats do not like to be constrained like that. Can you imagine? They would hate it. But anyway, there's little Alice sitting back there like a big princess, and here's Edward sitting on his throne like the king he is. Kitty airbags. Kitty airbags. That's even a better <laughs> idea. I love it. I don't know how many kitties actually do roam in their cars, but this is a new thing. I think they're enjoying it. Like I said yesterday, I'm going to take them everywhere I go now. My little pets. <laughs> they're so fun. Anyway, Katie woke up this morning not feeling well again. As you know, she has the flu. And she's been on Tamiflu for about, well, for five days now. And she doesn't seem to be getting any better. I fear that she started taking it a little bit too 
late. Anyway, um, we will get her home and we're going to call the doctor again and see if there's anything we need to do. Um, or she might just have to live it out. So we'll let you know and our, our ride, other than that little bit of traffic there, is going very well. We've gone through some rain. Where are we going to put her? Uh, there. We're going to put her in Alice's seat. So we got to carve out a little spot for Katie. When we were originally planning on coming down here, we weren't planning on having Katie with us. And then um, she got sick and now she's coming with us. So we got to carve out a little spot. Anyway, we'll be there soon and keep your eyes peeled. Yay, Katie! Hello! There's Miss Laura and there's Claire and Katie and Mike and Jacqueline. Hi, guys! <laughs> Hi now. Hi beautiful. How are you? I'm really sick mommy. Mm, I know. She has the flu. And so does Jacqueline. My eyes are gushy. He what? My eyes are gushy. Jacqueline, how are you sweet girl? I love your shirt. How do you oh, feel? Oh thank you. We're twinning. You are twinning. Yeah. Hi Laurel. How are you? Thank you so much for coming. It is a hot day today. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Welcome to Florida. Yes, this is my friend Laurel. Yes. <laughs> We're quick by twins. <laughs> we are we are uh, sisters from another oh, mister. Mother, yes, from <laughs> another mister. <laughs> exactly. And hi Claire. How are so you? Good. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're good. All right, you guys, Rip Bucky's my favorite place. This is for Jacqueline. Thank you so much for yes. taking care of Katie. Just a little gifty I thought maybe you'd like. Thank you for taking care of Katie. <laughs> and you need to be taken care of too. Oh, both of you. Oh, you're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, stop it. All right, Mike and I refer to this as a triple play. Mike and I are awake, but we've got three sleepers. Katie, Edward, and Alice. Normally it's Katie, Brennan, and Ryan, but in this case... <laughs> Grand Slam is when you fall asleep. Grand Slam is when I fall asleep, all four of us. But uh, we have a triple play right now, and it's very nice. How far? How many more hours, Mikey? Uh, we have Two just a little hours. under a little under three hours until we're there. Very exciting. I know, right? Hopefully there'll be no traffic. Again, it's 4th of July weekend, but I think we're doing okay. It looks like we're gonna have an afternoon thunderstorm here though, which is pretty typical for Florida. And um, I'm very excited to get there. Very excited. Lord willing and it creaked up rise. <laughs> That's right, Michael. That's my new favorite term. <laughs> I think it's very funny. I love it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. <laughs> We are almost there, almost there. Look at these storm clouds. Oh my gosh. Katie loves it. Mike loves it. We're gonna go unpack and then sit on Lanai and, and watch the storm come in. Sound good? Perfect. Yeah. Nice job, Michael John. Gracias. Yeah, How another many another hours was that? Delivery. Another safe delivery. It was a lot of hours. Yeah, no, I think no. it combined 17 or 18 hours. There's Alice. Are you excited about your new home, Alice? What does it look like, Alice? This is your new homey home. Does it look like you're going to live here forever and ever? Yay! It looks fun, doesn't it? It looks different. It's nice and warm. You like laying in the sun and when it's warm. Aren't the roofs kind of funky? <laughs> and Eddie hasn't even... Nothing phases him. Eddie doesn't care. He's just as along as for the ride. Oh, he's a good boy. He's, he's fluffy. He's my fluffy boy. What? What are you looking at? <laughs> Where are we? Oh my gosh! Look at your big eyes. What does it look like? What do you see, Eddie? We're here. <coughs> we are here. We are here. We are here. What's that from? Oh, that's from. I know it's from, but I forget. It's from um the Dr. Seuss thing. Yes. Uh, we are here, uh, we are here. So yeah, did, did they Horton, say? Horton, here's a who. Horton, thank you. That's exactly it, Michael oh. John. Michael John. Horton, here's a who. Look at what Nana and Pat put out for us as a little welcome. We got some flowers, a 4th of July flag and cupcakes, a Miller Lite for Mike, and a little bit of wine for me, and balloons. So Nan and Pap welcomed us. We feel so happy to be here and so Did they welcomed. Any tissues? <laughs> no, but we've got plenty of tissues for you, lovey. With lotion. You should sit in the hot tub tonight. That would make you feel much better. Do you think? Yeah. I opted out of sitting at the hot tub at Jacqueline's house because I didn't want it to make me too like. 
Oh, right. Oh, I think you could do it here. We need to get you some Mucinex, too. Maybe we'll go to Publix and get you some Mucinex. <coughs> okay. okay. And some sushi or something. And then... <laughs> Tried to like do the hug thing, and if I stretch out my neck, it makes. Oh, it makes you cough. Hi, sweet boy. How are you? Mm, good. How is golf? Did you see the cats? Good. Yeah, they're just. Did chilling. you close the door? Wait, you close the door, right? Yeah. You close. Okay, we can't let them out. Usually close the door. Okay, good, good, good. Just it'd be very well, crunchy. Garage, so. so you open and close the garage, and then open the door. Like, don't ever keep both see. doors open. It's a new thing for us. Is the door closed? It better be. Will you check, Katie? I can't see. All right, we're taking a family bike ride to the pool. We miss Ryan. We don't? We wish Ryan was here. The good news. We um, don't have a bike for Ryan, though. So if he were here, he'd have to walk. Okay, so we decided it was time to uh, jump right in and make dinner. <laughs> Trying to remember where everything is. What? That's gonna blow up, I think. You think it's gonna blow up? Why is it gonna blow up? It's supposed to boil. Okay. What makes you think it's gonna blow up? Oh, anyway, I'm making a half baked <laughs> harvest, thanks Mike, a half baked harvest meal. One that I made a couple of days ago and Brennan are at home and Brennan loved it, so I'm making it again. A little pasta dish. Mike's gonna grill a little chicken because we got on this for Father's Day last Father's Day? No, your birthday. We got it for your birthday last year. Really? I think so. Okay. I think so. It's like an indoor grill. We weren't sure about our grilling situation here, but as it turns out, we found out that we can have a grill in the condo. It's, is it, is it a condo? It's like a, in a townhouse. It's a townhouse. So we could have one outside on the deck, or we could have one inside the... Um, <laughs> Thank you. Inside the garage. So we are going to get a propane, right? Propane? Yeah, a propane grill. Um, but in the meantime, we have this little indoor, indoor guy, so we're gonna do the chicken with that now. And then you can turn it over and make it into a griddle, which the kids love a griddle for pancakes. But we're gonna grill the chicken on it tonight. Mm -hmm. And um, we miss Brent, or we miss Ryan, we wish he was here. No, we don't. We don't think we do? <laughs> <laughs> but we've moved all of our junk into the house. We just haven't moved all of the junk into its actual space where it's going to go. So for example, I'll show you the pantry. This is what it looks like right now. Thank you, Michael John. The cats are enjoying uh, exploring our wood around there. Well, speaking of which, there's Edward. Hi, buddy, buddy. Earlier, he was up there. He likes the pantry. They haven't gone out. They haven't tried to go out. Thank goodness. Knock on wood. But this is what the pantry looks like. So we have a bunch of stuff like in bins. It just isn't put anywhere. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. I might do like some hanging racks there for spices and cans. Maybe some hanging over here for, I don't know, saran wrap and that kind of thing. And then try to do bins for all of the different um, items that we have for food. The thing, the challenge is that this pantry, it's a beautiful pantry, but it's really, 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 really deep. So I think I'll probably have some high things back there and then some stuff here so we can utilize all of that space. I think down there I'm gonna end up putting um, all of our like crock pot and blender and mixer and grill and that kind of stuff, so a griddle, I mean, so we can just like pull it out from down there. So anyway, it's a beautiful pantry, like size wise, but I just have to make sure that we utilize that well. So that's gonna be what's gonna take up most of my time over the next few weeks is sort of getting everything organized and funds between closets and pantry and um, sort of the kitchen organization. There was something else, oh, oh, and in the organization in the bathrooms and that kind of stuff, I am gonna redo the bathroom upstairs and do some stuff with Brennan and Ryan's room. So stay tuned to find out what we're gonna do there. I've been working on that for a while. But Brennan and Katie are over here watching some silly movie. Uh, Katie, what are you doing? Are you okay? Oh. My nose is so tired. Oh, honey. Are you glad you came home though? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Kate's going back tomorrow, so but we'll vlog tomorrow so you get to see what we do tomorrow, but she's gonna fly back to school tomorrow. I'm gonna get some more sun tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna try to do the beach. So we gotta be up early, church, beach, airport. I'm scared, Mom. Why? I don't know how to fly um, not it's, southwest. Yeah, it's okay, it's gonna be just fine. They're gonna do just great. What if my plane crashes? What made you happy today, Kate? Is it a small plane or a big plane? I think it's a little plane. 
Oh no! It's gonna be fun because you'll be. It's like you're flying over the island. You get to <coughs> look and be so cool. It'll be a cool view. Oh wait, what? it's a short flight though, right? Yeah, an hour and ten like... minutes. <gasps> Literally up, whoop, down. <coughs> Guys, I'm not contagious anymore. <coughs> but I do think I have some sort of bronchitis because we my... do think she might have bronchitis. <laughs> I know, Brendan had it forever when he went to Because every time I yawn or, like, stretch my neck or, <coughs> or talk for too long, <coughs> I begin to cough. I was just thinking when we were in the bathroom taking my medicine, I was thinking if I was, like, a server at a restaurant or something, it'd be really bad. Well, you couldn't work. Yeah, That's you what I'm saying. Yeah. I wouldn't get work. It would be bad. Which is why I'm nervous for church tomorrow. Okay. Well, put a cough drop in. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. No more <laughs> All right, I am going to share what made me happy. What made me happy was getting here safe and sound and watching the kitties acclimate to the place. I thought that was awesome. And picking Katie up. What made you happy today, Katie? Um, being with my mom. That's nice. Thank you. Uh, also, I will say it's fun having Brennan and Katie together again. That is facts. That is facts. What made you happy today, Brennan? Oh, <laughs> not David Silva selling that bag. Remember, it was being productive. I, I got a lot of stuff done for my resume, and I'm still on my job search. Okay. Hopefully, someone hires me soon. I hope so too. Good luck to you. You had this place all to yourself for a while, and now we've barged in. You okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, it's I don't fun. Like it very much. <laughs> All right, you guys, so stay tuned for more of our adventure here from our <coughs> new home in Florida. <coughs> and hopefully Katie gets better. <coughs> no! Comment down below what made you guys happy today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.